Pepper of Dave Campbell's Texas Football and TexasFootball.com here in my home. This is this is my home. This is my home office. Um, and yeah, I'm here for one more week. Uh, don't worry. It sounds like I'm going to be back in the studio in Fox Sports Southwest next week. I'm getting ready for high school scoreboard life, which I'm doing remotely. There are so many wires around here, and I have no idea what any of them do. Anyway, oh my gosh, what a week of Texas high school football in the regional semifinals and in week 14 uh, of the big school regular season. Uh, this is my instant reaction for week 14. Okay. I'm going to be honest. There's too much to get to. Way too much. There's no way I'm going to be able to get to everything. We will go in-depth on TexasFootball.com all week long. But I do want to pick out one game, maybe two in a couple instances, in each uh, classification, rather, to talk about, to break down what was an unbelievable week of Texas high school football. Let's start in Class 6A. Buta Hayes beats Austin Bowie. 20, I believe the final was 21-14. Okay. You're probably thinking, Tepper, why is that your game to, to focus on? Like, Buta Hayes are probably not winning the state championship. I don't know. I think they're pretty good. I like a less good slot T, but not, it's not here nor there. The point is, that means that Austin Westlake, the reigning 6A Division II state champion, will not be in the 6A Division II bracket. They will be bumped up to the 6A Division I bracket because they needed either Austin Bowie or... Who is the other one? Del Valley to get into the playoffs for them to stay in the Division II bracket. They are going up with the big boys, and that is going to make not only the Division I bracket absolute warfare, but also it makes 6A Division II wide open. If they had gone to the Division II bracket, I think they would have been the overwhelming favorite, or at least no worse than co-favorite, to be the state champ to, to win the state championship. Now, in 6A Division I, it is an absolute dogfight. They could see Lake Travis in a regional final. <gasps> It's huge news down there in Austin. Okay, 5A Division One. Colleyville Heritage beats Burleson Centennial. I want to give a shout-out to Colleyville Heritage. I think they've done an unbelievable job flying under the radar, still undefeated, good win over a solid Burleson Centennial squad. 5A Division Two. Lovett Cooper comes back to stun Wichita Falls Rider 25-24. This game was 24-7 with like 10 minutes left, and I like turned it off. I was like, okay, that, that's it. Bye-bye. But Cooper... A massive comeback to come back and win the District 3 5A Division II championship. Unbelievable job by Chip Darden to get those kids to believe in and believe that they can come back and win that game. Uh, so, love it, Cooper. Big winner. Okay, now we're into the playoffs. 4 Division One, Argyle beats La Vega 28-14, and they finally got the, uh, you know, they finally got redemption. They finally got over the hump. Argyle has not been able to get past La Vega in the playoffs, but they come through. And in a lot of ways, they beat La Vega at their own game. They won with defense, hard-nosed defense, and they won with special teams. They came up with a key block punt late in the game to really put this thing away, to salt it away. Uh, that 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 kind of set up C.J. Rogers for a, what ended up being a dagger touchdown run. The defense was fantastic. They matched up pretty well up front, which has always been a bit of a bugaboo for Argyle against La Vega, but a terrific Game win for Todd Rogers and the Argyle Eagles. That's the big hurdle they had to clear, I think, not only physically, but I think also mentally. That's a big win uh, for them. Uh, Cat, four Division Two, Caddo Mills. Caddo Mills, the Foxes, Cody Crane's Foxes, take down Pleasant Grove 35 31 for the first time since 2016, 17. 2016, the Pleasant Grove Hawks will not be in the state championship game. And what do you say about Caddo Mills? An unbelievable game from Tyler Townley, their quarterback. They're serious, man. I don't, not just because they're in the regional final, but but knocking off Pleasant Grove, that is a terrific, terrific win. And you keep an eye on the Foxes. They knock out the defending state champs. 3A Division One went crazy town banana pants today. So this is one of the this is the only instance where I'm gonna do two games. Okay, it went nuts. Three division one's crazy. As number one Brock goes down to Jim Ned. The Indians of Jim Ned out of the Suscola area, they take down Brock. Uh, 19 to 16. They win with defense. They slow down the unbeaten Eagles and look unbelievable win for Jim Ned. A fantastic victory for the Indians to knock off the number one team and the favorite to win the 3A Division I state championship. So that's going to open up, of course, for the two-time defending champs, Grandview Zebras, to... Malakoff! Malakoff stuns Grandview, finally gets their bit of revenge. They take down uh, Grandview 24-21. Darian Peace, what a great great game. What a warrior he was. Uh, I feel great for Jamie Driscoll to finally get, get past Grandview, who has been like personally victimizing uh, Malakoff over the past couple of years. Uh, the the incredible career of Dane Yench comes to an end, but but what a playmaker we're always going to remember in Texas. Well, Malakoff, favorite to win 3A Division One now? I don't know. 3A Division 2, Childress gets some revenge over Spearman. 
They lost in the regular season, I believe in overtime. They end up stunning uh, Spearman in come from behind fashion to take down the Lynx. Childress is through to the regional semifinals, where they, or regional final rather, where they will take on district rival Canadian. So that'll be a lot of fun as well. 2A Division One, the Beckville Bearcats beat Norman G. 22 19, I want to say, was the final. Um, guys, Beckville was 2 and 8 last year. 2 and 8. They were bad. They were bad in the first year under Coach Cody Ross. They were just not good. And now they're in the stinking regional final where they'll get Tempson. Unbelievable game from Ryan Harris. They have a freshman running back in Jalen Williams. This team is also, by the way, young. They're not supposed to be this good yet. And now they're in the regional final. Uh, Cody Ross probably deserves a little bit of Coach of the Year talk. I mean, what he's done there is is simply remarkable. A great win for Beckville. A historic win uh, for Beckville. They are through to the regional semifinal where they will get Timson. 2A Division Two. how about Munster? Man, Brady Carney, that dude knows what he's doing. Munster takes down Hamlin in a thriller. Uh, Munster is through to the regional final, knocking off the number two team in the state of Texas in 2A Division II. And yeah, I mean, what do you say about that squad? They won with defense, hard-nosed, gritty defense, uh, fantastic win for the Hornets. They are through to the regional finals. And of course, these were regional finals in six-man football because let's talk about 1A Division One. There was only one game tonight. May beat Lakey. Uh, May is through to the state semifinals. Fantastic win. They are the winners of Region 4. I want to say I predicted that. I don't know. Roast me on Twitter. Uh, but May beats Lakey. Fantastic win for the Tigers. They're through to the state semifinals. And 1A Division 2, there were a variety of games. Uh, I believe all of them were tonight. Is that right? I think there were four of them tonight. Balmeray came back and beat Motley County. Strawn beat uh, Fannindel, I want to say. There's another. Oh, uh, Groom beat Follett to win Region 1. Yeah, the other one. Richland Springs beats Calvert. Uh, what do you say? The nine-time state champions are through to another state semifinal. Big game next week against Strawn. But Richland Springs through to another state semifinal. Okay, those are all my thoughts. I told you it's not comprehensive. There's way too much to get through. There's so much chaos tonight. It was unbelievable. Happy Thanksgiving. Please tune in to TexasFootball.com. All week we'll have you covered for all things Texas high school football. Okay, I love you. Bye.